everyone, this is Mr. Grayson David Mark and here with today I'm showing you how to fix the bipod model um with M figure. So as you can see here I made um a Steve and an Alex um texture, but as you see here their textures are horribly messed up. This right here is the bipod model, um that is the default, I guess, player model um for M figure. Um as you can see here this clearly does not work. And I'll explain why in a minute. But yeah, this is definitely not a player model. This right here is actually um, supposed to have an armor texture in it, but it's called a bipod model, and you should be able to use um, skins or player textures on here. So I'm showing you how to fix that. Um, but you will need another program called Blockbench because Blockbench um, not only is it a 3D modeler that is really great, but you can also make these things called skins. And skins are actually just um, it's not really a Minecraft skin, but it can be a skin for any mob, such as an Iron Golem, and that is what I am going to be using for the newest version. I wanted to remake the models and stuff for my bosses and stuff, but you need to know about my mod right now because I want to um, help you by fixing this. So we can just open up Blockbench right here. This right here is the newest version of Blockbench, and we're going to go to the new section right here. We're going to go to Skin. And we're just going to select Steve or Alex. I'm going to select Steve first. I'm going to keep everything the same. Um, you can keep pose on or off. It doesn't really matter. And just hit create. And now what you have to do is you're going to go to file up here. And you have to go to convert project. Because right now it is a drop of block and item. And it can only be exported in OBJ um, wavefront models. And that is not what Empire um, uses for entity. So you have to go to modded entity and you have to, hit, and you have to click confirm. But now right here is an entity, but it does not have this texture yet. So once you have your skin texture, you just want to go to this import texture button right here. And then we can go to our texture right here. And I'll just select the new Steve um, here. And as you can see, texture works perfectly. Um, what all you have to do is actually have to delete this old texture. And now we have our working Steve. So now all you have to do is just go to file and go to export and go to export java model and then we can go to test and we will just save this as actually we have to go to cancel because we have to actually change the name of the model right now we have to go to here and we believe we have to go to project and we're going to change this from steve because steve is already a model we have to go to this as just a modified steve there we go we'll do the same with here because M Creator will get confused, and so on Minecraft, and the model will become corrupt. And that's why I recommend that you keep it um, export version on 1.15. Because M Creator, um, if you actually, I'll show you the error message, um, or actually the recommendation message for that in a bit. So you have to go to export model, not save model. Save model is basically just saving the project. Um, but all you do now is just go to export, and then go to Java entity, and then we can just save it under our test folder here. And just hit save and so now i'm doing the same with alex it is exactly the same so i'm just going to skip the actual part and just show you the outcome oh also one thing you can actually do the converting the model and the textures i um, in the opposite order so if i just select the new alex texture and delete this one i have it as the i don't have it as the correct model yet you can go to a um, mod identity and hit confirm and then now you can just change the name of it, and I'm going to do the exact same with this one. Okay, so now I have my model in place, and all I have to do now is just go back to our mod, go to resources, 3D models and texture mappings, go to import Java 3D model. This right here is the error message or recommendation message I was talking about. Java models made for um, Java models made for Minecraft below 1.15 will not work with versions um, below. Wait. My models made for Minecraft oh, above 1.15 will not work with versions below 1.15. So, um, yeah, as you can see there, to set the model version, go to File, Project, Export. Um, export version, that is exactly what I did right here. Uh, I went to File, Project, and then Export version. I kept that 1.15 because it tends to work best in 1.15. I'm just going to close out Minecraft right now so I can even show you the uh, next thing. Whoops, here we go. And now we can select our, our model right here, and then we can um, 
And then now it's time to actually set the animations. I recommend that you only set the arm. Um, I recommend that you actually only set the arms and the legs because it's the easiest like that. So we can go to here and select left arm, um, right arm, left leg, and right leg. And there we go, we have our model. And also, I don't think my Alex model actually saved. So let's go to here and I'm just going to save it. Um, let's call it the modified Alex. There we go. And now I can import this once again and do the exact same thing. Here we can do the left. Wait, this is wait. Okay, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. There we go. And that is all we really need to do. And now I'm actually going to make. I'm going to copy these. I'm going to call this Steve. Steve new. And I'm going to change the texture to our Steve texture and go to here and select our model. I'm going to actually use the Alex model. We have to make it the Steve model. I'm going to call this Steve new. I'm going to duplicate that and call this one Alex. Alex. Wait. Yeah, Alex new. And then we can zoom this, change the model, and change the texture. Now just making sure everything is complete. Yes it is, and I'll show you the difference in game. So as you can see here in game we have our messed up models. Let me actually spawn in Alex. Um, as you can see there, those are horrible, horrible creatures that don't deserve to live. But now we can actually get our brand new models, which are the Steve new and Alex new, and as you can see here if I spawn them in, they actually work. Look at that. That's cool. Don't you agree? They're not just weird clumps of that. They actually look really cool, in my opinion. Um, their heads are tilted a bit up. That actually tends to happen if we get a zombie. A similar thing. Probably should happen. Actually, no, it doesn't since they're not the same models. But you can actually change that by, I believe, unselecting pose. Or just changing up the model a little bit in block bench. But this right here is just the regular default way you do it. And I'm gonna actually fight this thing just to show you that um that the animations all work correct. Let's see if I just hit it. Um it'll start to attack me. And some of the animations are correct, but I don't think that the attack animations are correct, yeah. Attack animations don't really work. So that's the only downside with this. If you actually know how to set the attack animations, then do that. Or also you can Leave a comment down below in the description if you want to just, um, if you just want to do that, but it's okay, you don't have to, so yeah, see you guys the next time, and goodbye guys. Oh, actually, if this tutorial was helpful for you, it would be greatly appreciated if you would have liked the video, subscribe, because it really helps out the channel. We have seen a massive growth in subscribers, um, over the summer, so yeah, I really, really thank you guys so much for all the support recently, I'll see you guys the next time, goodbye guys.